Hi, Matt from Inverian here, and welcome to the tutorial video on navigating RapidPlan. The purpose of this tutorial video is to guide you through the interface for RapidPlan, show you how you can customise it to your liking, but also sh show you some of the tools and tips that you can use within the software. When you first open RapidPlan, you'll be brought through to the, the main interface page. So you'll get the welcome to RapidPlan message with the current version and a full list of current and past updates. You can hover over each of these to view some more details and also click on the much more here um, and that takes you through to our website with a video of the newest update but also um, any of the changes that have been made uh, to the software as well. On the left and the right hand side here you'll have your working palettes. Uh, so these are customizable as well. So when you're working on your plan, um, you can pin or unpin these from your sidebars. So if you're wanting to uh, maximize the amount of space you have on your plan, you can just unpin these um, and they'll be pinned to the side. Um, and when you hover over each of them, they'll display. Uh, so it all comes down to how you want your workspace to be displayed. Um, so you can just repin these later on if required. Uh, you can also adjust the size of them and also uh, each of the palettes will have their own um, options so you can adjust the icon sizing here uh, you can reorder the buttons to your liking same goes for the scratch pad uh, you can adjust your icon size for any um, signs that you've got in your scratch pad and same goes for your signs palette here. So if you're wanting to set a predetermined uh, sign size, you can set this here. So when you apply it to your plan, it will be that specific size. Um, you can turn off tooltips as well. So each time you use an object, it will show tooltips when you're working on the plan. Um, just click that box here and it will turn it off for you if you're no longer wanting it to display. And in the middle here, you've got your new plan wizard. Uh, please view our quick start guide for information on using that. Uh, default plan, so you can set your defaults and your preferences, which I'll cover shortly. And also open plan, so if you're wanting to open a pre-existing rapid plan file, you can do so through this button. Um, you can view our YouTube tutorial channel here with, for more videos. And also um, you can check your online connection status here. Um, so if you are connected, you can upload your plans to the Rapid Plan Cloud. Um, please see in the description below for information on how to use the Rapid Plan Cloud. Uh, so coming up to the top here, uh, you'll have your toolbar um, with some more selections. So the file menu, uh, it's just all your basic stuff. So saving your plan, printing and exporting, which can all be done when working uh, on your plan. Uh, you've got your edit buttons here, so these are just additional shortcuts to your um, normal editing buttons on the software, um, but you can also change your plan properties in here as well. Uh, the tools tab, so this will go through just importing aerial photos. Um, if you need to import road layout, you can go through here. Uh, most of these are just shortcuts, um, which we already have videos for in our YouTube channel. Um, you can save objects here sign tools so if you need a load a sign you can do so uh, we also have a request to sign option so our 24-hour support team uh, can get a sign created for you so if you notice a sign uh, not within the software that you need um, just request a sign through here that takes you through to our website um, and you can enter some additional information for our support team uh, text variables object styles and preferences here so uh, text variables is another advanced tool within the software. Um, please view our YouTube video for a video on this. Um, and object styles. So this will be all your predetermined object styles, but also the custom styles that you've made as well. Um, clicking this will just bring up a full list of the ones that you have within the software. Uh, so coming through to preferences here, here you can set all your options. Uh, so we do recommend um, setting these when you first open the software. Um, so you can set your measurements, uh, your metric system, how you want your units to display, uh, date formats, 
uh, right down to how you want files to be uh, downloaded from the Rapid Plan Cloud. Um, the most important thing uh, with the preferences is the defaults. So um, each time you click on the default plan button, uh, it will go off the settings that you've set here. So you can set a default author. Um, when you're going through on a base map, you can set your default base map provider, um, your default scale, um, paper size, and also orientation size. So each time you hit that button, uh, it will go off your defaults that you've set here. Same goes for your signs um, and any brushes and fonts and text that you use as well. Um, in the preferences, you also have your keyboard shortcuts. So this button here gives you a full list of the shortcuts that are available for use within Rapid Plan. Um, so these are predetermined shortcuts um, that are already set within the software to help improve your efficiency. So go through, have a look at these, um, and you'll see that there are a number of ones that aren't set. So you can set these yourself um, just by clicking and then hitting new shortcut. Um, and you can also um, alter any existing shortcuts to a new one as well. And then coming over to the advanced settings, um, once you've got a better hold of the software, we do recommend going through these if you are wanting to customize things further. Um, and you can also export and import your settings. So if you are transferring uh, the software or license over to a different computer, we do recommend saving your settings. So it will save all your scratch pad um, settings, object styles and defaults um, to a certain file. You'll just need to load that onto the new computer where you can uh, import the settings using this button once reloaded. So coming up to the view tab here, um, these are just shortcuts to turn your palettes on and off. So if you're wanting to completely get rid of a certain palette, uh, you can do so using these buttons here. Um, if you do find that one of your palettes disappeared, um, it will most likely be because it's been turned off in the view palette. So just come up to the view tab and you can turn it back on here. Uh, we've also got a fr full screen mode. So if you're wanting to maximize your screen space, uh, just check this box here and it will take Rapid Plan into full screen. Uh, lastly, we've just got some uh, a help section here so you can watch the, the Rapid Plan tutorials, um, revisit the shortcuts list, um, restore an auto save session. So, Rapid Plan will restore um, any interrupted sessions. So, if for example your computer shuts down unexpectedly um, or if you have a system error. Um, you can reaccess um, any uh, interrupted plans through here. Um, and lastly, you can click the About button here. This will give you your current version uh, and also a link to our website as well. Lastly, you'll have an extra uh, few buttons up here for when you're working on your plan. So your new plan wizard, new default plan, open plan. Um, you'll have the toggle snapping button here, um, so if you're wanting your um, objects and signs to snap to boundaries within the software, you can turn this on and off here. Uh, the preferences and exit rapid plan. So these are shortcuts for when you're working on the software um, work and when you're working on a plan. Uh, so that sums up navigating rapid plan. Thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe below to be updated on new content at Invariant.